Hi everyone, Farmer Kate here and we are up at our roundhouse where we've all been incredibly busy recently. We're bottle feeding lots of little lambs, lots of little goats, boa goats and pygmy goats and one of those pygmy goats, she's a little bit special, you probably know her already but it is of course Biscuit and we're going to go check in and see how she's doing, if we can find her that is. Hey. Hey. Here she is, this is Biscuit. Now, I did say we might have trouble finding her because Biscuit here has developed a little bit of a trick where she likes to escape these pens. It happens every single year with our little pygmy goats that we bottle feed. And then the next step is they work out how they can go into the middle of the roundhouse here where we keep like all our feed and other bits and pieces. Thankfully, we can block off that gate but she, sometimes she finds sneaky ways through it. So she's an extra special character. She is doing really, really well. It took a little bit of time to get her drinking from a bottle, but as you can see by the size of this belly, she's doing just fine now. Biscuit here was found down in our rare breed span. Now she looked to be doing really well for several weeks, her and her sibling, but it became apparent that mum just wasn't able to produce enough milk to feed them both, which, it's quite unusual for pygmy goats, they do milk really well usually but we've checked her over, there's nothing wrong with her, her and the kid we've left on are absolutely fine but it did leave Biscuit all hungry and alone really so she needed some extra help, we decided to start bottle feeding her Sometimes it does take a while for them to accept the bottle as their new food source but she picked that up within a few days and now she's doing really really well. We do give them a special powdered milk that's specially formulated for lambs and goats and as soon as they drink in that fairly regularly they absolutely fly up and they start to thrive. She is a very unusually marked pygmy goat. Now we have all sorts of colours here at Cannon Hall Farm. Mostly they turn out a browny beige colour color with some black, but she's quite unusual. She's pretty much all white on her belly just around here with some spots, four black legs, and then just a really pretty face. And she's worked her, her way into all of our hearts here. <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed this update on Biscuit here. We're going to be very busy in the next few weeks, welcoming lots more lambs and goat kids, but Biscuit here is probably going to be the matriarch of the crush, I feel. So I'm going to let her go and we'll see where she ends up. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you very soon. Take care.